Hi, my name is Katie Hoffman. I'm a freshman member of UR Images, and this is my image story. In terms of my self-image and my self-esteem, it has been dominated my entire life by comparisons. Comparisons of me, of myself, my body to the media, what I see in magazines, TV shows, and movies, what women are supposed to look like, but most importantly, comparisons of myself to others and the people that I interact with. Growing up, I lived in, I was born and raised in Buffalo, New York with my parents and my twin sister Maggie. And Maggie and I have always been and always will be really close. She's my best friend and my twin and she means everything to me. But being a twin is not all it is cracked up to be. When you're fraternal, you look nothing alike, for the most part. And my sister and I are no exception. And growing up, as we started to develop and go through puberty, we developed very different bodies. She was tall and thin and had this long blonde hair and these beautiful green eyes and olive skin. And I grew up and I had really pale skin. I had dark brown hair, blue eyes. I started to develop hips and thighs and a stomach and I was heavier than her. I um, was really, you know, confused as to why we were supposed to develop so differently and I struggle with that a lot because I kept looking at her and saying like, oh, why don't I look like her? She's what's beautiful. Why are we so different? We're meant to be twins. And it was more confusing to me even when I would see people and they would look at us and say, you're twins. You look nothing alike. And um, it really st struck me because I was constantly comparing myself to her and wanting to be like her and aspire to look like her because she was what I deemed was beautiful and I didn't think I was beautiful and really created a negative body image and um, negative self-esteem for most of my life. And then starting from there, I began to compare myself a lot to other girls. The girls I would see in the, the school hallways or on the street, and I would see them and I would say, that girl's so thin, she's so pretty, she's beautiful. She would never be friends like me because I'm awkward and I'm fat and I'm a loser. And that guy is really attractive, but because of me and what I look like, he would never go out for me, regardless of my personality and how good of a person I am. I began to base my self-worth only on looks. It didn't matter to me that I was good in school or that I had a great friends or that I could make people laugh. All I cared about was what I looked like. And it was really hard to you know, be, have this personality and be this outgoing person that I was because I restricted myself so greatly from making new friends and having new experiences because of I because of myself and because I deemed I wasn't worth the time or the effort or being friends with. I just wanted to be, you know, with people I felt I could be comfortable with, with people who I felt were at my attractive level or people I thought looked like me and wouldn't judge me and would just respect me. Um, and for some extent, this has still carried on to college. I still struggle a lot with you know, comparing myself um, and thinking that I'm worth it and worth the time and look, forcing myself to measure my value beyond what I see in the mirror. But being a part of the University of Richmond community has really helped. It's been a fresh start away from my sister, which I miss her a lot, but it's been a fresh start away from her and what she in some minds sometimes represents badly for me and been a really good point where I can really be the person I want to be. And I can't thank you, Our Images, enough for giving me the place where I can share this and be a part of Girls Who Understand and also the friends that I've acquired at this university who have really made me feel special every day and tell me how beautiful I am or that I'm smart and funny and just encourage me to be who I am and not to be afraid of sharing my feelings. So. I would encourage people who deal with a similar issue just to love yourself and it may take time and it's not easy and it doesn't go away, but you are beautiful and whether or not, whether or not you believe it and I really hope you do because you're worthy of being loved and being appreciated.